Well, as requested, I'm going to make a video of my E21. Apologies for the noise, I live next to that road. Um, yeah. Uh, Alright, I'll start for the front. <laughs> this is the fucked wing. See, that's probably minced. So that's getting fully replaced. Underneath it, you won't, oh, there you, go, you can see a bit. There's nothing, nothing major in there. In fact, it's better than the E30. Um, it's starting to go a bit here, but that can be soft. Well, that's part of the wing actually, so that that will get moving. Um, front bumper is good. Indicator is cool. Lights not cracked. Grill needs painted. There's no bubbling or rusting at all on the bonnet. The bonnet's good apart from that dink there and there and there. Um, yeah, window wipers, they're there. This trim, I'm not entirely sure if that was chrome. It's not chrome now though. This wing is solid as fuck. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Insides are perfect, better than the E30. Apart from this little cunt of a bit here. Um, I'm not sure what to do with that. I might cut all it. Bump strips are fine, they'll polish up. Doors, straight, chrome, it's chrome. Um, there's a little fucking patch there. Bubble here, here, sand and paint. Now, this wing here is not bad at all. There's a couple of bits in the inside there that I'll need to sand and paint, and that will stop that, and that's all fine. I mean, it's all, all solid. Back bumper looks good, looks good. It's a chrome peeling, but underneath you can see that it's starting to rot. Uh, the rear valance thing is good. That'll be sanded and painted. The exhaust tip fell off. There's a new stainless steel mid in the front section, but the back box has got a hole in it and to top off the end that fell off. So I'm probably going to put a standard back box on there just to have a little bozo tip out. Perfectly, don't steal any of my things. Um, inner arches, solid. No rust. I don't know why there's so much shit in here, but someone's been. Um, do another video because you bastards all come lying. Under there, there is damp. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't want to catch it because there's no rust. So I don't want it starting to rust. Um, along the top edge, little fucking crumbly bits. That corner's probably the worst bit. My best bet would be the water's coming through there. Um, but I don't know, I mean, it's, it's better than the E30. Uh, that back wing is the one that needs replaced. Because it's getting a bit crumbly. But the inners are fine, it's just that outer bit when it's speed up on you, it's cold as fuck. The door's fine. Oh my god, it's cold. Central locking, a far fetched dream in the fucking 70s and 80s. Oh shit. Um. Right, okay. Original interior, ripped and springy because that's that's what was required back then, I guess. 
Um, original steering wheel, clocks, 79,000 miles. I've put 110 miles on this in the past three days. Blue vinyl door cards, mirror, as shiny as a mirror is going to be. Uh, cream headrests, the interior light, which is it working today? You want to work? There we go, it works. Um, E30 leather rear bench with armrest, very nice. Um, needs fucked with to get in properly. I just noticed a tear, which the person who sold it to me said there wasn't any off. quid. Two five inch speakers on the rear shelf which look not bad. They'll they'll do. I need to get the head unit in. The carpets are foul. Basically. That's the period original OEM homo whatever you want cassette that goes in there. Um yeah I need to get that installed. Dash is well it looks like a road in Basra. But I'm not bothered about that. I will get a video of it um running when I get Willie to film. The handbrake's tight, which is nice. Gear box is not. Clutch is starting to go a bit. Um, there is some damp on the rear seats, this carpet's nicely stained, but I mean there's no rust. It's certainly not a shitter. Um, yeah, that's my E21 for 600 quid. I ain't complaining. <laughs>